Good evening to everybody. You're all very, very welcome to the 2007-2008 robot competition. The competition encouraged students to consider engineering, science and technology at third level. And hopefully some of you will become employees of the ICT industry in the Munster region. Well, this whole event is about promoting science and engineering to children, to give them an idea of what it's like to use a bit of software, get a bit of hardware, glue it all together and to, to make something out of it. And we make it competitive because we think that that's a great way to get the schools involved. But the whole idea is that they experience how to engineer something, how to build something, how to market something and to give them kind of encouragement to show them what a, a career in engineering could be like or in science. Lovely to see such uh, great creativity uh, as well as science knowledge, uh, computer ability, uh, mathematical skill um, and technological understanding and be able to bring all that together in the projects that you're doing is really a very, very exciting thing. I, must say, I, have, I haven't seen the likes of this before, uh, so I'm delighted that I was able to come here this evening. Um, so. All of us would like to encourage all of you young students to keep up your interest uh, in what you are doing here and to continue it not just obviously through your junior cert but beyond and right up to leaving cert. And you are the key leaders now in your schools. The very fact that you are participating in this means that you have the skills uh, and you have been brought to this level. So please continue it on. You would just have to circumnavigate the track once while going on the black line and picking up these pods or dra and dragging them into the centre. 10 points into the black, 5 points into the yellow. But for the second round, we're going to have to come in and take them from the centre and put them back on the black line, avoiding the beacon where we use the ultrasonic to try and avoid it, which is going to be the hard bit. You're on going, yeah. quite exciting watching the, the, the robot and will it push the block or you know the, the pack or won't push it or will it stay on the line and it, it's been actually quite difficult uh, to, because the circumstances here are different from where we've been doing the uh, project development you know the robot development different lighting and uh, different surface uh, underneath the underneath the arena mat and it makes a difference to how the robot behaves in a small way um, so I, I, I don't know, they, they, they learnt it can be fun too, that it can be fun to do an, an engineering project. <laughs> and that was like the easy part um, and some of the people who did it last year helped us with that as well just like so we kind of just to kind of start us off and like get us used to the pieces and then um, then you just start programming it like putting on the light sensor to so that it would follow the line and that's kind of where it started to go wrong yeah, wasn't it? it was kind of like it wasn't you to adjust the settings so that um, it knew when it was on like the black line and when it was gone off and then the touch sensor as well. When we were trying to get it to follow the black line, we got really frustrated because it wouldn't work. And we were thinking, like, you know, loads of people like make these kind of robots for a living. We take it for granted. Like, we had a few slip-ups along the way, like, and, like things had to go wrong, and people were stepping on the robots. <laughs> and um, but at the end of it, like, even though we didn't get, any, get anything like one, but we had a great time overall. And yeah. we're we're going to like urge people to do it from now on because it was really fun. I think um, it's just a whole sort of new experience really, the programming, I mean it's, it's really, you know, helped them and, um, you know, they're, they're a good team and they're enthusiastic and uh, we hope that we'll make it somewhere around the track. We're not going to be winners this year I think, but maybe next year we'll be. Like seemed to be working fine when we came out here, but something something went wrong there when we were practicing, and it seemed to just go completely wrong. Like so. Well, 
for the competition, like it's a great competition just like to get you into like programming and like it makes you think about how the machines every in everyday life work. Like just being here like is fine like as you know we know we could have won like just as easily as we could have lost. Well, I thought it was fun. Uh, it was hard and it was frustrating and uh, so it was, it was, it was uh, funny sometimes. <laughs> Could do the best we could. Like, we thought we'd pull out there, then, but it didn't. Like, just it just kept on going on in circles there. But uh, we did the best we could, sure. We couldn't do much more. Do you know, we put in a lot of effort into it, so paid off small bit. And, uh. We were delighted to to do so well again late this year. Um, we won last year for our first year entering, and this year was, it was great to continue the role going. Uh, the standard is very, very high. There's really good robots, especially from uh, Brogan's now, and Bannon had a very good robot in the final. We were lucky just to be pivot in the end. It's a very difficult challenge. Uh, the robot has to go around a marked line and collect a number of objects. So it needs to be fast, it needs to be accurate, um, and we need a bit of luck as well, I think, in this competition. Well, luck got us through, and now we're here, and we won, and we're carrying on the name for another year. Well, Killian Brut, programmer, massive programmer. Killian Long, programmer and builder. Me and Mark, we just built it, easy bit. We had the basic model up, probably as soon as we got the box. Except for a week ago, we just dismantled it and built a new. It's either luck or skill. It depends on what you, how, how you look at it. It was luck. Skill, maybe. <laughs> I, don't, I don't really think so, no. Because our, our program for taking the things out, it didn't work at all. But like, it just happened to play with things out, really. It so works. Skill, luck. Works sometimes. <laughs> 